Hey folks, thanks for clicking on our video today. We want to share with you how to increase your viewing pleasure on your television. Before we talk more about that, let me to urge you to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell and we'd appreciate that a lot. Hi, we're uh, the Redhead and the Preacher. I'm Linda and this is Bruce and we're full-time RVers from Dallas, Texas. So follow us on inside of our trailer and we're going to show you our TV and what we've done. So now we're in our bedroom and I'm standing next to the TV as you can see. And this TV is not what you would call a smart TV. Now that's not just me saying that. The manufacturer does not list that as a smart TV. But we wanted to have some opportunities on this TV that a smart TV provides. So first we went shopping for a new smart TV, but what we found out was they don't make a smart TV in the size that we need to fit our spot. So we began to ask around other people and somebody said, buy an Apple TV. We thought, yeah, we've heard of that, so we'll do that. So we checked it out a little bit. Then we went to the local store here and uh, we bought an Apple TV, 149 bucks at Walmart. And to go along with the Apple TV, we needed an external HDMI, and we also needed another cord. So after $200, we walked out with what we thought would provide us and take us to the places we wanted to go on this TV. We came home, and even though uh, we're a little challenged when it comes to these kind of cords and things, we were able to hook up our Apple TV. Got situated on the bed, began to be all excited about what we were going to see, and come to find out... Apple TV does not support public Wi-Fi like we all have in our RV parks. So with long faces, we took all of our Apple TV equipment back, returned the whole thing for $200 back to Walmart. We didn't know what we were going to do. We met a young man back there working in the, in the electronics department. And uh, he was probably, I don't know, 60 years younger than me, but he knew 60 times more than I did about this stuff. And he said, have you tried a Roku? I didn't know what a Roku was. Redhead didn't know what a Roku was. But we're going to tell you more about that. I'm going to let her share some of that information. Well, the saga continues. Uh, we went back to Walmart and we wanted to get something that we could use public Wi-Fi on. So we saw the nice young man again at Walmart, the red-headed 17-year-old boy that uh, tried to tell us so much that we didn't know. And uh, we bought a Roku from Walmart. And Bruce will tell you later how much we paid, which is wonderful. And uh, we just set up the Roku. It was just so easy. We just followed the prompts on the screen and uh, did that. It was just a few minutes. That is all it took. And it was very easy. And also, I have to tell you that the Roku um, remote is very easy. It does have uh, the um, voice control on the side, uh, which all of those things are not on the Apple controls. So uh, we got it all set up. We now have Netflix, which we wanted, YouTube, and so many other things we have, uh, plus some apps that we wanted for family things. And uh, so it worked out great for us. And you know, uh, we have a satellite TV, and uh, so we have TV through that. But uh, if you do not have satellite, you can still use a Roku. You won't get as many options uh, as there is on someone that is hooked to cable or a satellite. But uh, you can do that, which is a really inexpensive way to go. And you know, you might say, well, RV parks anymore, um, they don't have strong enough Wi-Fi to stream. Well, for instance, we're in a, uh, in a RV park right now, and we're having very good Wi-Fi that we can stream from. And uh, so many of the parks are getting better and better with the uh, Wi-Fi. And, you know, if they want us to come to their parks, they are increasing uh, the power that they have because nobody wants to go to a park that doesn't have Wi-Fi, it seems like, anymore. Uh, good Wi-Fi. And so, uh, anyway, everything worked out great for us. So now Bruce is going to tell you about uh, the prices and uh, the bottom line of everything. Okay, here's the facts about Roku. Number one, it does use 
public Wi-Fi. That's the Wi-Fi that we have in our parks. And I think we need to ask our park managers and the people who own these parks for better Wi-Fi. Yes. And secondly, there is no monthly fee, just in case you think there'd have to be a monthly fee. There's not. You buy the hardware and you bring it home and install it. And now, ready for this? The cost of the Roku was $49.99 at Walmart. Compared to the $200 we had to pay out for the Apple TV and things we needed to hook up with it. And so, you know, we liked it so well, especially at $49. Who can turn that down? You know what we did? We went out and bought another one for our living room TV. How great is that? And so our next video is going to be on the park that we're in right now that has this fantastic Wi-Fi that you can stream from uh, right outside of Dallas. And uh, so uh, look forward to seeing uh, that. So both of our TVs think they're smart TVs. <laughs> hey, we're so glad you watched today. Just again, I want to remind you to subscribe. Punch that bell down there, please. God bless you all. And remember, may God bless America.